Hey guys, so uh, welcome to uh, Training Reviews. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get Netflix uh, on your in control uh, screen in the Range Rover Villa. Um, what you're going to need is a laptop and a HDMI cable. So I have my uh, MacBook with me uh, and it's going to be pretty straightforward and I'm going to show you that now. So the first thing is um, if you open up the uh, panel here where you have your uh, ports now you'll see that there's a uh, HDMI port there so the first thing is uh, you're going to do is connect one end to the uh, HDMI cable into there and the next thing is you're going to connect this to your uh, MacBook so uh, I'll show you that now okay so I'm just connecting the uh, HDMI port to my uh, MacBook Like so, the uh, screen will flash. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is open up uh, the system settings. I'll go into displays, and um, I can see that there's an option here uh, which says JLR. So that is the uh, uh, Range Rover in in display screen. So I can see that's connected. The arrangement I left it as to mirror displays. Uh, now if I go back into sound settings now I need to make sure that the output is also set to JLR um, because usually by default it will set it to your internal speakers to your laptop so that is selected now I'll close that the next step is to simply uh, go into your uh, screen panel here click on the uh, media option at the bottom if you select source you'll see there's a, an option for HDMI now so if you go ahead and click HDMI it's now basically started to mirror my laptop there now if I just go and um, play for example uh, a video from Netflix um, I have this option here for 13 reasons why let's go ahead and play that and I can make that full screen You can see that it's now playing um, on the actual Range Rover Velar screen uh, as well as my laptop. But it's also playing through the, the car speakers which is good. So this is very useful for uh, uh, when you're on a journey somewhere and, and you stop and um, you want to watch something. Um, but of course you will need a, an internet connection um, for your MacBook. Now. The car comes with an inbuilt Wi-Fi hotspot, um, so if you have a SIM card with data in there, um, you've, you must have probably inserted it from the beginning. Um, you can use that to stream off of uh, Netflix, um, and of course, you'll be using a lot of your data, so you'll have to make sure you have enough gigabytes uh, to support that, and to obviously last you for the rest of the month as well. Um, or if your park's near somewhere where you can reach a Wi-Fi uh, hotspot, then uh, that's even better. Uh, you can stream it off of that. Um, but in addition to Netflix, you can also watch YouTube videos on, on your Velar screen as well. Um, and also uh, any videos you have downloaded onto your internal hard drive. Um, so that's a, a really cool way to uh, connect to your screen there. Um, and uh, one other reason why this is uh, uh, quite useful is if you want to pass your uh, laptop to anyone sitting at the back, um, then they can watch. Uh, the video as well as the people at the front watching it uh, on the front uh, Villar screen um, so that would probably be the, the biggest benefit of it um, and that's having to say if you don't have the uh, in-screen entertainment on the back of your headrests uh, in your car as well um, which I don't in this car so hopefully uh, that was a quick demo uh, which you've liked um, if you think that was useful then please do give it a thumbs up Otherwise, if you have any comments, um, then please leave a comment below uh, and be sure to subscribe. I've got some really more uh, cool features coming up uh, and some reviews on this car as well. Um, and so until next time.